hello friends so in this video uh, we'll talk about the header analysis so how we can analyze the header of any email so before this you should know about something about email header analysis that how it actually works and what is dmark dkim and spf right and second one header analysis to find email and reputation how you can find out that uh, that email uh, reputation what is the uh, reputation of that email right so there are some tools right so there are some tools let me show you that uh, what is that tools name so first one is mx toolbox from where you can analyze the header uh, second one is mailheader.org and third one is mha. Azure websites.net so these are the three website I am just recommending you you can there is also a more email header analysis but first one I, I would like to recommend mxtoolbox.com and then you can you can choose any one of them these two one right so let's uh, start that what is DMARC and DKIM and SPF so generally DMARC uh, stands for domain based uh, message authentication reporting and confirming so what it is actual so DMARC helps mail administrator prevents hackers and other attackers from spoofing their organization and domain so in this way DMARC every organization every legitimate organizations have DMARC because this actually help to prevent uh, their uh, their domain in the way that attacker will uh, will whenever will try to spoof the that domain of any organization that won't be possible that much right so this is what a uh, dmark which prevents your domain for the spoofing dkim so it's a domain keys identified mail it helps to protect email senders and recipients from spam spoofing and phishing so DKM allows an organization to claim responsibility for a message in a way that can be validated by the recipient. So I try to make it very simple because uh, DMARC, DKIM, SPF always whenever any, any of the instructor tell it becomes so complex to understand. So let me in a, uh, tell you in a simple way that DKIM, DKIM the main function of DKIM is that uh, it claims the responsibility it it uh, if it is passed then it is showing that the organization is taking the responsibility of that email that yeah we have sent that email let's say uh, if there is a domain abc at the rate microsoft.com for that dkim is pass then it means microsoft is taking that responsibility for a message that they have validated the recipient so this is what dkim which uh, allows an organization to claim responsibility for a message any of the message whatever the message uh, they have sent SPF SPF is sender policy framework so it prevents spammers from sending message on behalf of your of your domain so if there is SPF in your organization then uh, you can say it will prevent your domain because what spammers will do uh, spammers will just is spoof your domain and will send send a message on your behalf right so this is what sender policy framework and it is very useful now this 550 SPF check field what is it so whenever you will see this this one 550 SPF check field it means in the 85% cases that mail is spoofed I'm repeating guys again if you if you uh, just check this one if you just found this 550 is SPF check failed 85% of the mail becomes spoofed on that time right so this is what D DMARC DKIM and SPF in the next video we will show you the practical of hybrid analysis that how you can check the reputation of any email how you can check whether your email is spoofed or not whether your ip whether your domain is spoofed or not so let's uh, talk on that in the next video bye bye take care